Okay, we're going to show you how to weigh your rubber band for your flying events, such as helicopters this year. Um, you have your scale, make sure that it's um, zeroed out at zero. Make sure you're in grams, because a lot of these also have ounces on them. Um, the rules this year say the motor must, must weigh less than two grams, so two grams is what we're aiming for here. Start, get your rubber on there, let it spin around a little bit until you're close. Depending upon the thickness of the rubber band will determine how long it needs to be. When you're close to it, a little over, always go a little over, you're going to cut it off if your scissors will cut. So here, this is 2.22, which is a little heavy. That's okay. What we're going to do is cut it off till we have about 0.1 grams over. That's pretty good there. So now that you have it, you're going to take your rubber band off the scale, put the ends together, and to tie your knot at the end, well, what I recommend doing is this is just a simple overhand knot. You'll tie it like that, and you'll pull it, and you don't want to leave a whole lot at the end. Maybe um, two centimeters is, is probably good. You're going to pull that good and tight. Okay. So I probably um, that's probably not bad for the length of the end. Now what you want to do is using CA glue. This is a Zap CA glue, but any type of CA glue will work. You're just going to put a dab on the knot right there where it is. Okay, that keeps it from coming untied. You'll pull that up. You can use accelerator to help it dry quickly. This is accelerator. I'm going to spray a little bit on there. Trying to ruin my scale here. So now I'm going to cut off the extra. Like so. Look back at my scale, make sure it's zeroed. There you go. Put my rubber band back on it. 2.03 is a little bit heavy. I'm going to cut a little more of my tail off. That's why you leave the tail, um, you make it heavy, it's because after you tie it, you're going to cut off some of the tail. With the super glue, that knot should not come untied. 2.01, 2.02. That's not bad. I would always recommend making sure that you're a little bit under. Um, where I tied my knot on this one, it's a little long. This would be okay to use in practice, but for competition, you need to make sure your rubber bands weigh um, 1.98, 1.97, just to make sure that you're under it for the cut day of competition. Now, at competition, um, when you fly these these devices, you need to make sure you lubricate your rubber bands. Um, this is a, a Ziploc bag that has some, some lubricant in there. This is an Armor All um, car cleaner. Uh, it's normally white. This is a little bit different than that, so it's not white. But um, it's, it's kind of a white, milky-looking substance that you'll spray in here. You can get that at Advanced Auto or Walmart. They normally have that kind of material. After you weigh your rubber bands for competition, then you lube them because you are not required to lube them before um, uh, you, what, you weigh them, you, before you check your rubber bands in. Uh, this is important because when you put lubrication on them, it adds weight. So if you lube after you weigh in, your rubber bands can be exactly 2 grams, as opposed to having to weigh um, 1.95 to make up for the, for the, the, rubber, um, the lubrication. So that, when you, you spray your stuff into the bag, and you drop your rubber band in there, and then you rub it back and forth like this. And that coats your rubber band in lubrication. The reason for doing this, it helps the rubber band unwind better. Um, it helps you get more winds out of your rubber band, and it makes it less likely to break. So that's important. It should look a little glossy from the lubrication being on there. And that's how you cut and tie and lubricate rubber bands.